Our story of the day has brought us to Odan Akofenso, where little comfort needed help with a prosthetic leg two years ago. Our specialist conversation is going to be on women's health. To be precise, pregnancy-related issues and the emergencies that can emerge. On our Mythbuster segment, we'll find out if every woman bleeds on her first sexual encounter. This is Vodafone Healthline, spin-off edition. of a greater data world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services in Ghana, you can now dream bigger, explore wider, go further, get more for less with Vodafone data. We can do anything we put our mind to. Vodafone. Further. Together. Bleeding on first sexual encounter has long been thought as the proof of virginity and has formed the basis of many traditions. Let's see how we busted this myth. Hitting the girl. Okay. <laughs> if you see this amount of blood dripping on the floor, you're hitting the girl. No. Indeed, we may see some bleeding. Some. Sometimes. Sometimes. When you see it, mm -hmm. it may be some. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it may just be on the shaft of the penis. Oh, who put? Yes, it's just on the shaft of the penis. So if you happen to clean the penis, then you may see that there's some blood on it. Okay. Sometimes you may see it on the sheets like people expect. Mm. Sometimes you won't see anything. So you don't have to bleed for you to be a confirmed virgin. Oh, but um, I mean, I think the point I want to make is that you can't use the evidence of bleeding post-coitus to say that this person is a virgin or not. Post-coitus. Post -coitus. Post -coitus. Post -coitus. <laughs> a professor. You see, I'm not wearing my white coat today, so the professor has herself at the position. Yes. That's no, post-coitus. Um, <laughs> it's true. Because you see, the the... the the vagina is structured in a, in a way. God made it such that mm -hmm. when a person has not had a sexual intercourse before, mm -hmm. there's a thin membrane. For well, friend, tear rubber. <laughs> brand new. <laughs> brand new tear rubber. Wait, wait, wait. What's your tear rubber? What's your tear rubber? What's your tear rubber? What's your home use? Brand new. <laughs> From home. Tear rubber. Tear rubber is a thick. It's so see a thin. Oh. Sister, so say thin membrane. And so so say tear rubber. Oh, and the concept, you know, the concept. <laughs> Thank you for saving me on this one. Yeah, good one. It's a concept. Anyway. <laughs> no, but anyway, there's that thin membrane there that God put there with mm. a small hole mm. in between mm. or within it. Yeah. And um, usually during the first sexual encounter, this membrane is is torn, is mm. opened up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that might cause a little bit of bleeding. Mm -hmm. I like, or I like to emphasize on what Kay said earlier. Mm -hmm. It's not really like moja betuni pana yesenia there be. There's a little bit of blood stain, maybe a little bit on the sheets, but usually on the shaft, like you said, and that's it. Hey, there's tears of joy. That one too is there. Now that you've mentioned tears, you are not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. sometimes too, if you do a very, very, very good job. 
<laughs> you see the tears of joy in Jesus' name. Amen. I mean, amen. Be so. You. <laughs>The human race is maintained through reproduction. This is a process that women have to go through. Pregnancy comes with its own problems. We we'll have a specialist, gynecologist obstetrician, talk to us about some emergencies that may occur during pregnancy. Pregnant women face a lot of challenges. And sometimes the men say, Washada, she's just been lazy. Oh, I want a elephant. But they all know that there's a human being cooking in that womb. But to help us understand this and more, we have Dr. Amagani. She is from Ridge Hospital, or what we should be calling it, Greater Accra Regional Hospital. Dr. Gani, welcome. Thank you, Fema. Hi. Why I feel? With us. Hey, me who no mistake. I'm really sending your bow because I'm honest. But enough about beauty, and let's talk about the beautiful thing growing in women. Okay, so. Let me talk about the two most common in Ghana, the okay. two commonest causes of maternal mortality in Ghana. Mm. So those two are hemorrhage, or commonly known as bleeding, or okay. semoje two. Moje two. Okay. Yes. And then the second is hypertensive disorders of pregnancy. Okay. Uh, what the layman would say, BP. BP, BP are caused. Uh -huh. Yes. So those two are the e yes number o two o killers. Ah, B okay. You say BP is manageable. Yes. But obifa e kumu onya BP mani wu. Hey, hey, who? Because um, when a pregnant woman's BP starts going up, mm -hmm. sometimes it just doesn't stay as just chronic hypertension okay. or what we call gestational hypertension. Okay. You can develop what we call preeclampsia or eclampsia. Okay. So preeclampsia actually affects or targets every organ in the woman's body. So it's a multi-organ uh, problem. Hey. So that's why it's very dangerous. And once it starts, the only way to actually stop the process is to deliver the woman of the baby. Yes, when it gets very severe, to save the woman's life, you have to get the baby out. No, because pre eclampsia, ni eclampsia. Dini sepa. Yes. the same thing, and that's be a senior, be a junior. Senior woman. Okay. Eclampsia, ni a senior. So when we are talking about eclampsia, we are talking about a woman who has preeclampsia, mm -hmm. which is a uh, hypertension in pregnancy, mm -hmm. affecting almost every um, okay. organ or organ system in her body, mm -hmm. associated with uh, protein in the urine. Okay. Yes, that's preeclampsia. Okay. Then eclampsia is when the woman has preeclampsia and then has a fit or a seizure. Or poo poo and a sweat on the swan. Exactly. It's not all. all yeah, or but, shake it uh -huh, no, one in night. Uh -huh. Hey. Yes. Neninu. Mm. Yes. But so, I don't know yet, Sabio, are ye? Oh, back epilepsy. And your epilepsy. And your epilepsy. And your epilepsy. Epilepsy in the soda. But it's missy. Yes, exactly. Nanu ne bekunun. Very good. It can kill her. Because at this point, it means that the process, as I mentioned, affects every organ. It means it has affected the brain. Yes. Oh. So you have what we call cerebral edema. And I said, brain no. I Thank you. So, so Oh, my question. Okay. So that me to me stop it sad and jeans. Okay. In Tiana, it's important that once our fire no, no, mm -hmm. you have to go for antenatal care. Okay. Because a lot of the time preeclampsia is silent till it actually gets out of hand. So, yes. Because when you be a nibi picostro now when you have symptoms. Okay. We are lucky in a costro pa, you can have symptoms like with tea pie, we are not say we need so brew, we are not say we need to be a tune. Mm -hmm. And I said, Obu sushi show. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, most of the time, preeclampsia is silent unless it has started affecting organs. So, symptoms here are my bubo, uti pie, or an acid, or this, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. It means that it has affected some organs. I started saying, yeah, ma. Very good. When you're the beer, no, Benya Sanyo, man. Uh huh. It's me, I'm quite in it. Uh huh. Yeah, Chesa. Now, some can say, Mojas, me too. 
or by no sweet and you see what they flew body either here. One way I saw an answer, a hair, but send out can on. Moja no cacrabi and I said, Says a beard to say, Who walk us and be fire for one. Men yammy period, son, I'm the old sushin, yamishin, yammy bano, and tell me there, the incense, and it's here. And we'll be now patch and I said, Special one be all. Special one, or you will move two types, but if you're friend of antipartum hemorrhage, and then no, no, you are bleeding from. 28 weeks of pregnancy till before you deliver. Mm -hmm. So in this time period, who bleed here yeah, in their friend with APH and antipartum hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. And then the commonest causes, eh, by quite friend with abruptio placenti. And no, no, a child, you know, a bear why and son a baby number out. A brat, tamon, so you won't want to put. Yes, I'm going to do it. Exactly. It's more about two or a wood, you know, and sometimes it will be revealed. You better than number nine. So this is very dangerous because one baby no better me will in time, and if we don't um, deliver you early or mm -hmm. stop the process, once mm -hmm. one share yeah, also be, 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 be but one and I'm one share mm -hmm. Ah, but hmm. and then the other one is what we call placenta previa, where no a child yeah no instead of being in the body or upper part of the uterus no, or mm -hmm. lower part into a lady a colano. Placenta then. Placenta previa. Yes, yeah, dear. Mm. Placenta previa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then a back, a back low. Mm. Our lower part of the uterus. And also small bleedy. And a bit me, my mojo too. Pa, one rush in the hospital in Tama. A ban is saying, I send you my way. See, what may be be a be a journey, dear one, or something. Can you do something to prevent this? Send a bit more young to an option. So, yeah, my baby. It will be difficult. A lot of the time, there's some women don't have risk factors. Be be anywhere, of course. Now, risk factors near the Risk factors, yeah, and a predisposing factors. And we are near ma a wall home. I am ma will increase likelihood of having a certain condition. Okay. Okay. But in, to say abruptio placenta, the risk factor back with preeclampsia. This is linked up. Yes. I see. Yes. In Tinu, you bet me a cast say, okay, who are preeclampsia? One risk factor is above your placenta. In Tinu, you hospital, you have a counsel, you have a catch yourself. Once you start having these symptoms, you say, Moja, Moja started to, and I said, yes, spotting, and I said, why are you real in danger? In Tinu, yes, all of these are risk factors. So that is antipartum hemorrhage. Then we have postpartum hemorrhage. Why were we very good? Why were we in a half? From the time you deliver till six weeks after delivery, if you bleed within this period, you're going to postpartum hemorrhage. I see, so we'll be out, bleed. Yeah, but postpartum hemorrhage, you know, mm. there's a there's a definition. Okay. So if you deliver vaginally mm -hmm. and you lose more than five hundred mils of blood, so bad then. So nurses, no doctors, no yawa home. You me estimating. In two coffee, no bad then who say what bleeding more than five hundred okay. mils. In the postpartum hemorrhage, you know, so there are two. Okay. We have the primary and the secondary. Mm -hmm. Primary, you know, usually they see a hospital because okay. the definition is it should happen within 24 hours after delivery. Okay. In the HR, they are not bad, and I am bad, and I am bad, and I am bad, and I am Okay. Yes, so, who bleed so much that your life is okay. compromised. Okay. And I say, who deliver vaginally, you bleed more than 500 mils. So, you go for a cesarean section and mm -hmm. you bleed more than 1,000 mils. Okay. That's primary postpartum hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or secondary, you know, and mm -hmm. no, no, after 24 hours, what could you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or before the six weeks are up, who mm -hmm. moja, who bleed, yeah, and yet normal uh, discharge, no, but yeah, na, a deep moja, crab, okay, but you're actually seeing blood, it's all period, that is abnormal, okay, and yeah, secondary postpartum, you mm -hmm. need to go to the hospital, doc. But you're different from both. No matter how a man up, you know, say, born more who we are on the one bleed you. Why I'm bleeding to anything, but now who can come? It's as if she's not happy to have the baby, yeah. even though it's life. And the whole no, any na kono or man no fun so we about to say there's no joy. Yes, with it, mm -hmm. is it normal? And I say, be man and who in the hika? There be to a certain extent is normal. Your friend will be postpartum blues. Over fifty percent of women will have it. Into a no no. It starts within the first two to three days, our way, mm -hmm. uh, but by two weeks postpartum, no, as I said, HR. And no, no, I said, oh, soup, baby, baby, and I say you're having mood swings. They're doing your meal, to be in that, you to be in the DV, you to be in And this is, is perfectly normal. It's perfectly normal. Okay, mm. all you need is support because. 
labor and delivery, mm. pregnancy, all of it is it's it's challenging. it's challenging. Yes, it's the men will not understand. They no. may only empathize, but <laughs> yes, till they go through, they may not understand. But, it's challenging, and then your body has changed. Mm. Yeah, that's a pain. Hey, you see on your mouth. One thing where the beer, the amidia, then I'm seeing a risk factor. <laughs> but apart from that, you know, mommy and funny say in the ago, let us not play with pregnancy. Let us not underestimate the potential of a growing life in another human being to cause serious changes, both physically and mentally, and how some of them can even lead to death. So, our men, you know you are with us. Men, no men, caterpillar men. That's how I call you guys. We'll be right back. Data, Ebony Day, Star Seven Zero Zero Hash. B O Y Ball. Taxi. Ama is going home further together. Afedie, usu bet mi nya kwenya sronko aye nije ye power Vodafone so. Ye di data bundle sa any seso o gana ha bro. Ye mo da ye so, ye ni da so nyi na be. Enti baka ye hu, nya data mo ni je power be bro. We can do anything we put our mind to. Vodafone, further together. The ability to mobilize on our two legs ensures human mobility and independence. Inability to do this, or do this like everyone else does it, has a way of bringing some stigma to those who suffer these conditions. We are here in Comfort's hometown. Let's recap her story. When I saw her, I thought Comfort was just an extremely short kid, but then I didn't know she had a deformity. Premi Ufusia, me free Acrofonso, me sia and the pam, me bani comfort. Me nyam balconing, now me call hospital, I bring you a bribia. Then mum, I want to drink the kuchua kufodia. I must be a depression, I must be a ban. I should be a mother, me bani kotoye, and I should be a mother, me so me kotoye. And the dream la, I'm a day me ban a bremen. Me share me ban a nine, not bako or same bako. Men to my yanny, dear me, you are hoy. Name me soon, sad and be saying, I may say, I may add day. More than I knew do a ho. I then I won't quite dear, then I'm bako, watch him bako. Nammy dear, I will be blay. Nana me saying, I mean pie, I say, or back I am when I yet to me as yet, and now Nan so queer you might yen is a case, it can send me a day. And to me, to me, and yes, the and and yale. I'm a walk on me, papa, papa, dear mammy, but I realized comfort was having difficulties using both legs, and I realized one leg was longer, or what the other one was normal, and the other was a bit short. And to know, I am a brassel riding, sir. Many a cicat, cornea, Nama Cacoya, and Nino, Opresia, Manuanian, and I, I do not know this, Nanyaji. I watched Vodafone Healthline last year and I realized that they can help people. So I contacted them and then I asked them if they could help my girl. And they asked me to do some things that is go to the hospital, take an x-ray and then report back to them and they'll get to me if they could help my girl. 
and Tim Paiwan and Amebo. Now, my manager, so I done my role. When I was called that Vodafone was willing and ready to help my girl, imagine my surprise. I was in a vehicle, but then I didn't care where I was. I just screamed because I was filled with joy that finally comfort will not be a laughing stop. She'll feel confident to come to school. And I was so happy Vodafone was going to help. Niame Wakachna Vodafone for Sir Nakupon Slao Namun Ankamo Namun Shanamun Yam Banan Man Nabi Pipia Vipaya Yadina Sina Pomo Hadam. Let's take a walk down the street to Comfort's family home. Today's story has brought us to Akrofonso in the eastern region to visit Comfort two years after her prosthesis was first fixed. Dog at the same, or quite now, was the first Usman I saw to me. They said, Yeah, yeah, Usman, maybe I'll be so near to me. Yeah, you who are dear be day, yeah, 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 Ye only con the number ninja and papuano, and my son to cut two wooden for friending bill. I'm an answer, my son, baby, for from my son. You send a walker, say, send a so near Vodafone, find a seven pan up so catch a Vodafone, and a Oma, Omuti, ye nina. But you never may catch a Vodafone for say, your mistra will more near my baby, your mammy ban. No one can mean that so, baby. Your mistra when you will be by you say, na when they share me one, they change me any more. Quanne, patch of a friend of a black. So there we have it. Two years ago, beautiful comfort couldn't ambulate by herself without being stared at by everyone else in the community. Now, she's able to be fairly independent, going to school independently and being helpful at home, running errands when her mother needs her, thanks to Vodafone. It's been an exciting trip here. The change in scenery, the environment, indeed refreshing. Before I leave, I'd like to talk about two things. Birth defects sometimes are unavoidable. When they occur, let's make sure we don't stigmatize those who suffer these. It leads to a lot of psychological effects. For our pregnant women, make sure you visit the antenatal clinic regularly 
so that problems that may arise during the pregnancy may be identified and nipped. Till we meet again next week, stay safe and healthy. This is Vodafone Healthline, spin-off edition.